we need to talk about something really, really important, all right? Because this is me right there buffing before the dungeon, okay? And you're gonna see me hype up a ward potion right there. And look, it's a banana bread. And it did not take my ward potion, it take a banana bread instead. So I was sure that I was, like the whole run, I had no ward potion. And not only that, but... I had the int food on and it put my strength food instead of the int food so I lose some DPS because of that. It's the first time I realized this bug happened and I'm pretty sure this already happened to me before. I had to rewatch the gameplay and realize that the buff was not on my bar and then rewatch the moment that I was buffing just to see if I forgot my buff but no. I did not forget it, this is kinda crazy, what is happening in this game, new world dev, please fix that. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Dolbeck, today for a build guide and gameplay, <clears throat> it's about the musket, I've had a lot of questions about the musket since my last test video, remember, there was a lot of controversy about the musket. Yep. I switched. Do melee. I need a Don't do range. Well. If I see a range, you should get kicked. Easy. <laughs> we beat the red in one try. So I upload the video in one thing just because the people say that it's not doable to do the second pass with the musket and that the musket is a bad weapon. So look at this this gameplay gonna prove them wrong the musket is a great weapon and for the people who don't know you can hit multiple mob at the same time by shooting through them so if the ads are clumped well and you do a shooting stance into a clump you are, you need to have a good angle but it, it can do great dps and you see when there's like the middle that becomes spike well you can just stand there and shoot there's a lot of benefit to the musket the shooting grenade, like shooting a grenade, it does a lot of DPS and the trap have a good run and this is a amazing CC. You will see the gameplay is insane with one tap the red and the DPS are pretty good. I, I came with, with like, I had the potential to try it two life the last time and then I think about what happened this two life and how I can use it. And then I rework my build and I come back with that because in theory it was the last time I used it it was my two first game with a musket and a rapture since like maybe eight months or a year so like so you see my gameplay it was just I was just like looking for what to do and I got trashed out by my team really hard you can go see the link and it's gonna be into the description but today it's just to show what I think could be the best musket build for the Gorgon Raid. I'm pretty sure this is because uh, you see you're gonna focus mainly on the rapier and use the musket as a secondary. The musket it doesn't look like this but it has some crazy ability that's gonna be very good for support and DPS at the same time. Uh, let's speak about the trap as example. The trap that you are throwing on the floor. Uh, those traps have a rend, it's 20% and it work on the bird during the adds phase. You know, until the second boss, you throw the trap, it work and you can have two trap. You can have the musket artifact if your rapier is not the finisher, I guess, and throw three trap. But two is far enough, so you can use a finisher as a secondary and buff your musket DPS at the same time because your grenade you know the grenade that you're gonna throw it, it's doing big big dps and the shooter stance it's not a bad ability to itself so with the shooter stance the grenade and the trap i feel like it you cannot really do better you're gonna see there's a, a lot of phase into the dungeon with some ads and i just threw a trap on it and problem solved man that that is amazing um and yeah, the finisher, uh, what I found is um, 
the the flurry apply a bleed so if i have if i have a flourish and finish with it i can flourish and finish my flurry blade what i did with the rapier i did go into the full bleed because i did not like i used i decided to use the nature what chess piece it's an amazing dps piece but the problem with it is i cannot use time and power so the evade become useless so i deal with it but i think that the nimble coat could be a really good option for this build or the atu nether pants like it, there's a couple viable option and i've gone with the natural watch piece since i already have it and it's with the the fire harnessing and yeah so i'm pretty sure i reach my empower cap when i stand into oblivion i have the the like all the buff on me it just make no sense if i don't reach empower cap this is the musket that I use because uh, I did not add better in my stuff and I think with the Kini Jagged I was able to shoot on the adds and benefit of my own bleed. So it, at the same time too when I just do my rotation and I throw my, my grenade, just my grenade can do a critical and apply the bleed. I don't need to like, it, it's a support musket so applying a bleed with it and going to my other weapon is just a good thing itself when you think about it so it's the reason why i chose this uh my finisher you're gonna see uh it, it's uh just a regular finisher i did put plague crit for pvp i did not like it so i'm gonna do it with maybe king speed for pvp or the dot thing for pvp PVE, you see like the new dot uh, perk there and our thwarting strike can be good there's a couple perk that can be good for the finisher over there it depends a lot on your build too and what you want to do with it for me keen speed since i do pvp gonna be the it but for you there's some good chance that if you do pve only this is not what you want on it so I took the the fire conditioning, uh, fire harnessing build that I had with the the ignited gems. So with those gems that I have into my my, my armor, I do two percent more per piece, and then I have the harnessing that is another two percent. So this is already a twenty percent empower itself. So this is very good. I have another seven percent empower on this ring right there. So we are already almost at 30% empower. Um, if I step right now into Oblivion and I have like my Hunting Stone, I'm cap almost, or like a leadership too. Like th there's a couple buff that can put me cap for sure. And I like I'm just not counting it, but they, they are for sure there. Maybe I have a passive too somewhere. Um, all right. So uh, endless thirst only because the potion it harder and I use the, the the small potion so I don't have to pay that much money. I use this uh, and, and I swap it the gem into it because you know I think that the strike protection if you don't have all the amulet for the dungeon is the one that's gonna like cover the most everything when you think about it because. Uh, First boss is strike second is mostly slash but there's still a strike AoE that is happening sometime and look for the first boss I had some Jasper slotted in for the second boss I had three slash slotted in and for the last boss I just put two nature gems since I had a lot of elemental resistance over there so I just kept this one if you look at the last boss he does, a, he does a charge on the people. I did not look what, what is the charge damage, but I, it, it would just make, make sense that the charge does strike damage and then nature. So I think a bit of strike is nothing bad for that, that boss. So I think by starting by the strike amulet is a nice thing for the red. The grasping vine later. This one right there. This is the stats that I use into the run. Uh, it's only because it's scale better like that. Uh, if you want to reach 100 con, you can. Re I did run this build with 100 con, and it was working fine for the roll red. Um, 
but you're gonna have to take off some int and keep this elemental damage buff and then go up to 100 con and it work if i wanted to upgrade this perk this build just a bit i can have the speed trad perk on my armor and maybe the leeching flurry but yeah i don't add it for now uh, i know that the repose can be a good option to uh, that depend a lot of on what you do what's your team and yeah during the red my tax were out like since i did not play during like two day and then i came back and got straight into a red the game did not notice me that my like house was going to wear out or anything so it just happened to be when i was into the red you're gonna see poof i got the notification the house is no more working so i don't have the trophy buff but we are still doing it this is the musket build that I use uh, during this run. I feel like getting this could be great because I use the tab target. So maybe I should be going more for this. But you know, as a speedrunner, I want to learn to take advantage of the headshot. So it's why I use this since the start that I've been using musket. But I, I'm gonna have some testing to do because the tab target is so OP. Mostly against the, the mob that have a lot of movement. And most of the time when you're there not hitting with your rapier. It's because you are hitting a mob that have a lot of movement. So yeah. Doing the headshot during that time is pretty hard. But still during the ads phase. If you shoot you're gonna shoot multiple through, uh, through multiple add so having the bleeding target uh when you shoot through mobs is not a bad thing i still think that getting this could be better for me right now this is the bleed tree that i used uh, i think having the the critical reduction is good uh this is good too like it's some good dps buff over there I really like it. Uh, you don't really need the stamina on it that much. So yeah, it's why I go more for the DPS thing. Look, if you read the trap is 20% ran, so it's not too bad when you can like when you think about it. This perk is kind of crazy. So dealing damage heal you so when you are gonna manage to trap a mob, it's gonna do damage so i think this is something that you're gonna benefit way more than you think mostly during the ads phase and those part in between the the run and i need to learn to use this better because i think you can do it once before your shooter stands then do your shooter stance and do this just after so it gives you some extra shot to do a big burst chain so if you can manage to throw like to, to tr throw a sticky bomb trap an enemy and then you shoot him once you dodge into a shooter stance and then you dodge back into this and then you go back to your rapier it does a kind of nice combo when you think about it